Yeah. You have to put the cricket away. Randall, you have to put the cricket away. Nope, it's too late. I already pushed the button and cricket is already here. So you are like our surprise. Pa -pow. You guess I know, right? Okay, well, so uh, welcome everybody to this week's episode of Faye News here on Faye Productions. I'm your host, Fairy Princess Lolly. Today I'm here with Jarl Hammerhands. Uh, you're not here with me. No, you're not. You came on your and own. It'd be really weird if you guys were in there with him. Yes, it's true. I am the Leprechaun. I did a lead do. And Stormy Faye. Ow. And Flora the Fairy. Hi. And Famous Dana the Boggin. Famous Dana the Boggin. Famous Dana has a frog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. And our special guest that we are having on today, Cricket the Fairy. Yes, had the same guest for last. So <clears throat> before we jump into the show, you guys, you all know how this works. And since it's since it's Turkey Month, then today we are going to like, subscribe, and taste the share button. That's right, just a little taste of the share button really? with all of your friends. That you way, couldn't. they will come and join us, and we will have all the more people in our comments section making the show. You couldn't find a better adjective than taste. No, I literally asked all of you guys, and nobody did, came up did, with did anything. You look through your thesaurus. They're verbs, verbs, not adjectives. Verbs. Whatever. I just don't. I barely know English, and you're telling me this now. Bird is the word. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. that's because she. That's because she's a cat down there, and she's like, oh, bird, right? <laughs> Dinner. Yeah, right. Another white meat. <laughs> <clears throat> are birds actually white meat like a blue jay is a blue jay white meat i mean they have of. dark meat too i was gonna say do all birds have the white and dark well chickens don't count because chickens are actually dinosaurs they're not birds no, <laughs> no all birds dinosaur. are dinosaurs <laughs> but not all dinosaurs are birds not all birds are chickens uh <clears throat> All yeah, not all birds are chickens. Uh, yes, all birds are dinosaurs, uh, but not all dinosaurs are birds. Laura, I almost like bought you a chicken lamp this weekend. Uh, just a uh, quick birds shout come out. from theropod dinosaurs. They're a what? It's the shape of a dinosaur. It's like the T Rex. Okay, basically. what I heard you say was that birds are a pod donor source. No, <laughs> th 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 theropod <laughs> dinosaurs. Are the dinosaurs? T h e r a pod, <laughs> theropod. I mean, I knew that. I knew that. Okay, so we're starting the drinking game early tonight, and uh, you are. I guess so. so Where's my uh, drink? A shout out to no, we're not starting it that early. A shout out to Platyfly <laughs> Studios, you guys. That's our show sponsor tonight, and Platyfly Studios sells fantasy inspired clothing and accessories. You've probably seen them here. They were on Handmade Home Shopping at some point last year. Uh, when we were doing our vendors, and they are all handcrafted by Kat Hawthorne out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Please check out her 2021 collections in her Etsy store, which feature an assortment of gorgeous breezy skirts, many of which have boop, boop, pockets. And she also carries a variety of accessories, including mermaid gloves, dragon scale dice bags, and jewelry. Everything is designed for the discerning pixie in mind with waistband sizing that ranges from 35 to 70 inches. You can follow Platyfly Studios on Facebook and Instagram for information on future sales. And as we have Black Friday and then the Christmas shopping season coming up, then I suggest you get on that because it is going to basically be the perfect season for, for all the discount sales and buying. So, and also if you're ordering handmade, now is the time to start thinking about getting those Christmas presents early. So <clears throat> yeah, because they're not good. They're going to not going to ship in time, man. That I know you got to give those handmade vendors time to do their thing. So because it's handmade. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hi, there are so many people out there in, uh, out there in the audience. Count morbid. Why are you out there? And not in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there, but not in here with us. Like what's going on? <clears throat> uh, yes. So, uh, there was a thing I was going to say, yeah, Cricket the Fairy. Okay, let's start with you, because I know that it's very late where you are. So you are visiting us today from the Kingdom of Rolling Hills, specifically Ohio? Yes, ma'am. Well, please, if you will, introduce yourself to everybody 
and uh, tell it tell us a little bit tell us first who you are and about a little bit about your area where you're from. Um, I'm Cricket the Fairy, and I started going to the Ohio Renaissance Festival about three years ago, and developed this character um, just kind of for fun. And I didn't expect it to become so involved and serious as it has. But Cricket has <laughs> <developed> <laughs> <the same laughs> <things>. <laughs> and now this year, um, someone mentioned to me at fair, they said, yeah, I heard the fairy guild was trying to move into our fair. And I was like, that sounds amazing. I want to be a part of the fairy guild. And so I looked for it and I couldn't find anything. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll make my own fairy guild. And I decided that we were going to take over the world with it and get a chapter in every single Renaissance festival in the entire world. So that is my goal. That's well, ambitious. welcome, welcome to the greater band of Fay, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, this is this is how we got connected too, and so I'm really excited for this because. And Stormy is also. I think you were talking with Stormy earlier, maybe this afternoon. Yeah. <clears throat> and I know that I invited Flora as well, uh, but this is kind of how we got connected. I got an invite to join the this uh, Facebook group that you have, only to discover the that uh, you were on the on the eastern side of Turtle Island, which is the, the greater name for North America, uh, gathering gathering the Fey. And so I was like, ah, we shall all join forces. I'm, 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 much, I'm, much sure, I'm not sure I'd call Ohio the eastern side. Compared, what side of the Mississippi is I it mean, on? To kind be of fair, you didn't even actually believe Ohio existed until about a week ago. Well, it's, it sounds like a place that where you suddenly discover a letter. And they do call it the Midwest, after all. Listen. Um, so to, I just, was born in Ohio, Gunther. And in Fairy yeah, Princess really? Pony's defense, though, I was born in Indiana, and I didn't believe Ohio existed. So that's kind of... You know, there's that one river that just goes... Meh. <laughs> the so, one that keeps the Amish out? Or in? What are you talking about? <laughs> the Ohio River? <laughs> But where does it? What are you talking about? Like, there, uh, what out? What do you mean out? Just, I, am so just, I am legitimately confused right now. I don't you'd even have, you'd have, have to be from Indiana and Ohio, Ohio to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> All I know is that when uh, Ion and I were way up in the kingdom of apples and we were. What happened? I, I don't know what happened. I, I don't. She, she apparently froze. She's still, it she's still talking, but she's frozen. <laughs> There's the kingdom of apples that got caught in her throat. And I'm here. Can you hear me? It was that frog, yeah. wasn't it? It was. <laughs> that frog. You know she what? She probably said something about the Cavaliers. So the last thing we heard was kingdom of apples. Yeah, kingdom of apples and we were in amish country and i was very very disappointed to not actually see because there was road signs to like be cautious so that your land dragon didn't just like mow down um a horse and buggy while while <laughs> driving right so there was all these road signs and there was even um there, there was even there was even traces of horse droppings on the road but we never once saw an actual horse and buggy i was really saddened about that they hold like, up traffic. You wouldn't want it. <laughs> right? Once you get stuck behind one, you, you're over it. Can't you just <laughs> go around them? I mean, it not was, really. Like, not really. Take it the whole road. Share the road. <laughs> Maybe like I to. got lucky the fact that I'm from closer to Cleveland. <laughs> that doesn't make you lucky. I've seen Cleveland. I'm pretty sure I'm okay, not fair. to hear <laughs> the news in my head when you say Cleveland, New York. See? Yeah, oh, there he is. Hey, I didn't say that. Ohio, WPRP Ohio is literally the only the only state that can share with Pennsylvania. A, All a, birds are dinosaurs. Fire. For the love of okay. For the love of what? For the my, love of my, Godzilla. My 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 spider web is down, and I'm using cells currently. Ah, but, your magic mirror. Yes. <laughs> well, the the the. The spider web that my magic mirror connects to, the whole manor is down currently. So oh. I may Are you guys like out of electricity? It it's that it's a bitsy spider not going there. It's it's 
No, okay, it's not the electricity. This year just doesn't work. It's just... the web. Our connection to the web. <laughs> Did you ever realize that you can't do the itsy bitsy spider backwards? Like you can only make those fingers go up. That's Twitter talk. Okay. Well, he's not supposed to go do down, it, is he? He's supposed to go up again. <laughs> That's the rain that washes about. Oh, I did it. <laughs> That's a that spider. Is a I'm all over you. Just, I mean, why is there only two fingers? It's, it's okay. supposed to be like all of the fingers, right? I am so embarrassed right now. <laughs> by the way, by the way, usually. It, it, it's pretty normal that if 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 Barry Princess Lolly tells a joke, normally normally all we hear is crickets anyway. So, wow. So I oh, okay. So we had a plan after that. We're all shaking our head and face palming. <laughs> so this is this is what I this is what I just Actually, heard Count Morbid say. Fairy Princess Lolly, whatever you say, Cricket the fairy should then repeat what you say. That way everybody can hear it. Actually, no, it's not what you're saying. No, it's no, it's just the, telling jokes. I heard it and I agree. No, it's just that Cricket <laughs> would be the only one to laugh. Oh. 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 I, I, I heard him call you Barry, Princess Lolly. You know, I think it's only people with the name Barry in their name. Just saying. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> Four of us. What are you talking about? You I just what? and you know what? The four that are the four that think it funny all have fairy in the name. I will I will kick you out. <laughs> okay, so cricket. We just have a greater capacity to feel joy. That's right. Are you guys better than us? <laughs> Sorry, to Even feel when what it's now? Aimed at you? I am glad not to feel that, whatever that is. <laughs> you know what? Um, you think you're so cool? Why don't we compare TikTok subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, you haven't what? I mean, I'm, I don't know if he does, but I know that I like do. That. That's right. <laughs> mm. Me too. You're welcome, Lolly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I bet you all of your subscribers came from her going, hey, you're this person. And Lolly would be like, I'm here. An hour with her teaching her how to TikTok, and she doesn't. Hasn't done it yet. <laughs> I know, but that's because it requires getting all all dressed up like super fancified. Do you know how no, busy I've been? But you can do it with your over. new crystal bowls. Oh, my crystal bowls are so cool. So, but you guys, before we have really our we do our drawing, <sighs> before we have our vendor come in, I want Cricket to be able to tell us uh, since she's here <laughs> as our special guest. Because I'm trying to conspire with her. Like, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can network. And maybe like by the by at least March of next year, we can have a designated fairy in every like in every area to come on yes. the show and give us the gossip from their local areas, right? Like, okay, we know that like the Michigan Renaissance Fair just happened. What What's the fairy news from the Michigan, you know? Doing fairy national news? Yeah. That's, yes, <laughs> right? Over the world. You don't like that. <laughs> we are all on board with take over the world. Like enchant the earth, my friends, enchant the earth. It's, it's, it's happening. It's, 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 <clears throat> Inter-kingdom correspondences. Interkingdom course. Yes, this is our interkingdom oh, correspondent. Don't her. I we love will it. force world peace onto you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the American way. Wow. <laughs> there, I thought you were going to say world peace or we'll turn you into a goon. I know what you guys are saying, but what I'm really hearing is fling baby food at people with a trebuchet. That's what I'm actually hearing. Just like I would throw chickens, world peace, ducks, and world maybe peace. some cows. Baby food, world peas. Leave now? Or I oh my food? gosh, marshmallows are easier that's, to clean that's up. That's my joke. Not if they melt. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> if they are flaming marshmallows, I, I, okay, sorry. Flaming marshmallows at people would be amazing. <laughs> that's how you get it. <laughs> okay. Where do you draw the line? So, 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 Yes, how many people are in your local fairy guild? So, oh, what is that noise? Did you hear that? Oh, okay. Yes, we did. I'm, we all I'm did. Who was dodging that? the question? There is me. I hit a button. I'm sorry. I don't know. No. Um, so, on the website, I've been adding everybody that is in each fair's chapter. And the Ohio chapter is about that long. <laughs> uh, so, the, whatever what that is. is the website? It is http colon forward slash forward slash 
guildofthefay.com. I'm a little thrown off that it doesn't have a www. I haven't figured out what that means yet, but it's because you don't have https. If you put the s in there, then you have to put the w www. https, you don't have to do that. https <clears throat> just means secured. The the the, there. the the problem is that www but I don't know that it comes up with short w for what it stands for. I will check it. Hold on. I will check it in like 2 seconds cuz I'm super fast. <laughs> what I found was funny was when we connected, I was super confused because I have, I also have a guild of the Fae out here in Vegas. I made a fairies guild and that's what I was calling it. So I was like, what? And so we had to, I'm like, we got to connect and just expand. I know. It's like, that's you guys need to come all get on our discords. And then if people want to join the guild of the Fae, how do they go about doing this on the Facebooks? In ye old book of faces. And or wherever is best happening soon. So you don't have to have Facebook to join. Just all I need is a um, Fay name, a human name, and the home fair, and that is it. So just give me that in any way that you can from the website. There's a contact. You can email us from the website. You can message me on Facebook. If you join the Facebook group then that is a surefire way to get you right on the member list right away. Okay. Yeah. And I kind of want to, I don't know if I have a... What about the bowling ball sized marshmallows that uh -huh. uh, uh, have been mentioned in our comments? They could bowling be made. ball sized marshmallows, is that a real thing? Who they could that? be made. Oh my God, I really want to see that now. I like really want to see a bowling ball sized marshmallow. That sounds... Just lovely. so you can put it in the microwave? No, it's like you set it on fire and lob it at something. Have you ever put soap in the microwave? Yes. Like a bar of soap? It looks yeah. like an expanding marshmallow. Let's take a break, reconvene after everyone has done that. <laughs> I agree. Uh, so you guys are okay with me putting soap into the microwave? Is that what no. I just heard? I'm not okay with you yes, putting really anything in the microwave. Funny. It smells I great. Well, okay, so I'm going to share this really quick, you guys. So this logo here, because like Stormy said, so Stormy has a Guild of Fae down in, in Las Vegas. And I wanted to show you guys, because I know that when you search on Facebook, this is Guild, this is Cricket's Guild of Fae logo right here, which is different than Stormy's Guild of Fae logo. <laughs> so but when I you were looking... I definitely redirect you if you end up in R. Yes. <clears throat> Uh-oh, look at this. Dorian is suddenly interested in putting bars of soap into the microwave. <laughs> That's it. Dorian and I are on the same page, and now you guys, uh, it's all going to be unstoppable. So, <laughs> like it was stoppable before, you do what you want, remember? <laughs> That's true. I do do what I want. Uh, and Erwinna loves your wings, Miss Cricket. Why, thank you. They are wearable whimsy. Wearable whimsy. A, a, a fairy merchant, I assume. Yes. <laughs> a purveyor of fine fairy wings. <laughs> Wonder, wonderful wingage. I like that. Wonderful, wonderful wingage. You like that? Uh, okay, so it is coming up. It's almost time here for us to do our drawing. And that means I have to pull up the Wheel of Wind and go get your guys' little extra entries on it from last week. Last week's magic word was amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my right. gosh. Did you send our link for our vendor interview to the vendor by any chance? Because I did no, not. No, but I'll do it right now. <laughs> wow. We're professionals. We swear. Professional. You're lucky I'm still awake right now. We're oh, no we at professionals home. and Faye don't go together. We don't even try it at home. We don't even try it at home. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, is that a bunny? It's in my oh. bun. Yes, that's oh, Titan. That's, that's her, her bun bun. Titan the door. Oh, cute. Uh, what are they called? Boople snoots? Boople snoots? That, isn't that their snoot their nose? Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's, aren't they, you, you know, like the, the uh, majestic sea flap flap. You know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't Ooh, know. Excuse me. Is that in the same way that a snake is a, a nope rope? Yes, exactly. Yes. What are you? 
Somebody tell me what bunnies are. Look it up. Look it up for me. I'm busy holding the bunny. Death awaits you with sharp, pointy teeth is what they are. Vicious creatures with a... You on everything you own. <laughs> no joke, they're like sharks. If he doesn't know what something is, he has to bite it. Like, everything has a nibble on it just to make sure he knows what it is. I do that. What, why is that a thing, though? Like, does that actually work? Is that what they're doing? Or are you just uh, making it up? For, they're looking for something to chew on. Like, he specifically would be looking for cardboard or paper or wood. It's something they chew, they do for entertainment, and it's to help grind their teeth down because they grow continuously. So oh, they, wow. just, they just test things. They're like, can I chew on this? Nope, can't. Can chew on this? Oh, yes, I can. You know, we have a cat that oh. does that. Huh? We got a cat that does that. Yeah, I see like dogs do it too. They're just. You know, my kids actually grew out of that. <laughs> I'm talking about. All right, Lake has been sent. Don't be so... on princesses now. What? <clears throat> I was talking about I'm, your I am thing. not a chew toy. Apparently, the silky you are. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, even know what's going on with that cat right now. It's crazy. If I get out my penny whistle to play it, she wants to love on me. And I <clears throat> just this last week, I was trying to play in my art room where she, because she'll get up on the desk or any place on a table and try to like actually love on me while I'm playing the penny whistle. And so I was in my art room where she couldn't get around me. And so she was literally like, like if you were to imagine, like these were my leggings, she was biting my leggings and like pulling them. Like I've got you like, I, and then like rubbing on my legs. And I don't know why, because all the other cats hate it, but she, whenever I get that penny whistle out, she is my very bestest of friends. I really Ooh. think that um, the weaving in between your legs like that would have been a great TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Great what? TikTok. 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 That video oh. that you made of. of <clears throat> I think I still have it in video. <laughs> it's just not a video on TikTok. Uh, okay. So I do see our vendor down there for this week. And you guys, I now have. Uh, our wheel of win. So let me get that pulled up. Yeah, you're going to witness our wheel of win and how we do this. That'll be a uh, cricket. I'm so very excited. <laughs> how you win stuff. Yes, how you like win us, stuff. So this week's magic word was leather <laughs> chicken. Well, last week's magic word was leather chicken. And this is for the leather dice bag and what? the cool studded collar from Dream We Kingdom don't leather. win it, but people who watch can win it. If they because finish, they don't, yes. not do the purple one, I want to know how to bribe them away from the purple dice bag. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. Flora super wants the purple dragon eye dice bag and is willing to wheel and deal with the winner if the winner <laughs> happens to be somebody that... Uh, I have a lot of draws. That's a great idea. Flora in the hedge. <laughs> so here we go. Wheel of win. Boom. I bet you can wheel and deal with the fox. Congratulations, Phoenix. Also, I, I see uh, your human moniker on my wheel, and I'm curious how I accidentally got that in there. But congratulations, Phoenix. I don't know if you're out there watching because I know that you're usually uh, working during this time, but I bet you can wheel and deal with that fox for sure, Kitsune. <laughs> uh, so, yes, before we let you go and and bring in our guest artist for the evening, Miss Cricket the Fairy. Is there anything that you would like to say to everybody? Yes, thank you so much for being so welcoming. I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. I felt like I might have been, you know, like stepping at, over the, the, the bounds, especially, you know, with a name that is already being used by another guild. But yeah, everybody's just been so wonderful. And I just, this just feels like such a great community. And I'm glad we're bringing it all together. Yeah, I am too. Best. I'm super excited like for all the, to figure all the ways that we can work together. So this is- Take over the world. Take over the world. Yeah. So we may have to be having you back yet again soon. So- Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, you go to bed now. <laughs> Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Unless Don't be jealous, Laura. I am going to bed now. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> you just made her so jelly.
<laughs> right? And Flora's like, I want to go Wait, to bed. I'm just kind of... Oh, sneaky <laughs> pillow person. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's, it's kitty cat's food time. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's start me. Hello, Miss Brooke. How are you? Hello, I'm good. So I'm so sorry that I did not get you. Like, That's totally fine. <laughs> I totally, I got everything set up and prepared and then like forgot to basically push the enter button, like send, forgot you that You have part. a lot to do. You have a lot to do. You, I get um, it. I get not, it. Not to, not to be alarming, but something's looking at you from behind. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, please, if you will, introduce yourself to everybody and tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. All right. Hi. Hi. I'm Brooke. Uh, Brooke Duckert. Um, I do a lot of things. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. So I paint, I sculpt, I make things out of fibers, I make music sometimes, you know, all kinds of things. Um, you make but music? My, so you're a musician as well? I can't play music. I can't play an instrument. Mm -hmm. But I, I was a vocalist in a couple bands back in high school and college. And stuff like that and i do um voice recording sometimes so, nice yeah, yeah. Well, you know, mine, try to dabble in a whole bunch of things what was that i said a friend of mine who's a musician he can't play an instrument but he can rock a mean midi is what he says <laughs> nice <laughs> there are all kinds of instruments though and all yes. kinds of music making so i don't know that i would just be so limited as to instrument i guess but i say that as yeah. a music lover Yes, all kinds also, of Also, she can play an instrument, so that's why she says that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can make noise on it on a thing that's called an instrument. I'm not sure anybody else would call it music. I, I can make noise. noise. I'm really good at that. <laughs> yes, you all. <laughs> yeah, so I do a lot of things. Um, my current focus at the very moment is I've been making these little... Um, Airy beasts is what I call them. They're little little oh, creatures that oh hold air plants as hair. Oh my gosh, that sounds so like cute. Something I'm well, let's, pretty excited let's, about. Do you have any of these here to show us today? I do. I actually have I have a whole pan of just sculpted ones that I can show a couple if oh, you'd man. like. Yes, please. I do. Like, uh, Let's show them that. and tell us all about them. Bum, 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 bum. So oh there we go. It's so cute. Okay, so this is just when it's raw and sculpted. And then I am currently working on a batch that kind of has a holiday theme. Um, so I'm going between naughty and nice. So I have yes. some cute ones. Like, here, hold on, let me grab this guy. So like a gingerbread guy. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, he's <laughs> so cute. So he's cute. And then a naughty is one of my like Krampus. Oh, yes. And what oh, do you man. call those? Are those oh, Ooh, in... it's like a monster Krampus. I'm in Ooh, like look at them teeth. <laughs> they glow in the dark, so too. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. So another. Yeah. So another nice is a little snowball dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm horrible at oh, holding things up to cameras. Except for they all have it's impossible. <laughs> Hold it yeah. right in front of your face yeah. and yeah. you will be in the right spot. Wow, the detail on the horn. <laughs> I just can't even like hey. <laughs> I, I know you can't I, it blocks your view, but that's <laughs> so uh oh there were, I was gonna say oh. they all have succulents in them. Um, so the, the ornaments, the Krampus ones are not Airy beasts, but most of them are, which is where, where the name came from, Airy Beasts. Uh, mm -hmm. But I've been kind of dabbling with all kinds of monsters now. So just once in a while, I'll be like, I'm making this in an Airy Beast style, but it's not going to hold an air plant. Um, but I also make little, like, little pumpkins. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is adorable. So. So I ha I feel compelled to ask because they're all so cute, but I personally could not have Watch one no, because I kill all of the living things that are like like plant like, right? So if you were a person, if you were a fairy like me, who actually had a black thumb, 
right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like an urban fairy, right? So uh, I, I have other skills and talents. Um, <clears throat> hey, cool goblet. Uh, oh, thank you. Cheers. How do you yeah. properly? I, yeah, like here, I will totally cheers you with my, my no mug. <laughs> John <laughs> Goblet's coming at the. There we go. Okay, okay cool. I love that red. Is it? Is that's not? It's not carnival glass, but it's got a specific name. That antique glass like that. I don't know. Uh, I've had these for <clears> years. <throat> I think my grandma had them. <laughs> but yeah. How Hi. do you care <laughs> properly for that succulent thing that is inside the little sculpty guy? So air plants are very, they're they're really cool um, because they don't need any soil. That's what makes them so good for these because they just plop in. Mine. There's no dirt. Pop right in. No dirt. Nothing. Oh. They they grow. They oh. they usually uh, well. There's a whole bunch of different varieties, but a lot of varieties like grow on the trunk of other trees, and all they're doing is gathering air and sunlight and water. They don't need soil, so air plants can just kind of pop in these, and so they're a lot easier to take care of. You can still kill them, so how do you but not as easy. Why kill them? The, the biggest thing is rot. Like if you overwater them or water them too often, they will definitely <laughs> rot and just kind of like <laughs> they just kind of like fall apart. How often do you? But, but them? it kind of depends. It depends on your location. So if you actually live in a very dry place, you're probably going to be watering them a lot more. But if mm -hmm. you live somewhere pretty moist, like me, like. Right now it's been raining all the time. So I haven't been watering them. I'm gonna like let them kind of drought for a little bit and then I water them like every well, other week. Well, you know, week. Um, Kingdom every of Storms week. up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, where are you located? You probably would, you, I was gonna say, you probably wouldn't have to water yours at all. <laughs> <laughs> they might pull enough moisture just from the air, yeah. It depends on where you're at and where you wow. have them in your house. That's fascinating. Yeah, they're weird huh. little things. That's, I, pretty, that, that's I, pretty fascinating. I got really obsessed with them because, to your point, I used to kill everything. <laughs> everything would die in my possession. So this became like my favorite plant in the world because it was the only thing that I could keep alive. And then I had so many around the house, and I was making other things. Well, I, I was like, oh, I also oh, have the same question that, that <laughs> Gun Gunther had. Do, do you ever make um, the little uh, beasts that are shaped like um, pineapples, so oh. that the top of it can look like the top of a pineapple. Yeah, uh, I have. Because that, that sounds so, so cool. I was I was like, because <laughs> it's yeah, the, the 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 flowering on these ones in particular look exactly like a pineapple. So okay. yeah, I did um, and I guess it's not just this batch that's naughty and nice. I think that's kind of my overarching theme. I'm always making ones that are really cute and ones that are really creepy. And then like, just like cute, creepy. Like I just like kind of playing with that. So I've done a lot of cute pineapples and I've done haunted pineapples. So I've done ones with like lots of teeth and like crazy tongues and stuff. So they're fun. I, they're, I'm getting my demons out. I have to somehow. So yeah. <laughs> Important. Well, you have really <laughs> adorable demons, I guess. Like, yeah, <laughs> they're mischievous. So, you, you guys should know. They look adorable, but they can be quite. Well, dangerous. we don't know anything about mischievousness, and we are we are innocent of all charges, and we confess to nothing. I did not no, mean to judge. Me. I, I wasn't it. making a judgment. <laughs> That's our story, and we're sticking to it. That's all right. No, no, I just said it was me. <laughs> Was you, that? you just said it was you. Yeah, it was me. I guess Gunther's trying to take blame for all of the stuff and things. Cool. Or credit. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, fight me. Okay. Yeah, Instagram is definitely the best place to look at anything because I don't always have stock. This was a pleasant. It was a, I was really excited that I actually have physical merchandise to show you guys because I normally don't have anything at home. <laughs> it just sells that. So where is the best place for people to buy things from you? If you like, do is it best for them to go to shows that you are at, or best for them to find just find you on Instagram? How do you normally do your thing? So currently, I just basically spend a month making a batch of beasts, and I have like one major drop once a month. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's what I've been currently doing, but I just now have gotten more time to dedicate to this. So I am going to start making more of an inventory and then start doing some shows, but I haven't I yet. What's in, in the background here of this picture, these paintings look kind of cool. Oh, you can see them right here. I can turn <laughs> my camera. Oh, oh numbers. This is my studio. They're in my studio. This dude with the hairy tongue is cracking me up. It's making me think <laughs> about how I learned that bees have hairy eyeballs this weekend. <laughs> They're actually tiny little micro beads. I want to touch them. Like I want to want to feel them on my fingers. You know what I mean? That is great because that is exactly what I want you to be thinking. Anything, <laughs> with, anything with texture, right? Yeah. Like, I love tactile things. Anything that you would want to be like, what is that? Let me. This guy looks like he went for a roll in those <laughs> those sugar cake beads. You know that that yeah. are like the silvery looking. Yep. <laughs> like. So that was an art experiment and it didn't work, but when the beads fell off, he had these little dimples that were like quite adorable. So that's uh -huh. what came to this one. Lesson learned. The little gingerbread <clears throat> texture. Happy accident. Right? It's how you learn. Right. Just keep making. I love yep. it. Now, how did you get into doing this? Like what got you around to sculpture and whatnot? Well, I honestly, I have been a kid that always loved sculpting. I loved Play-Doh. I just, I, I've always been sculpting things. Um, not a very good answer. <laughs> no, I've okay. always no. done this, but, <laughs> like, been, but as far as the, like the Airy Beast, um, I think it was, back in 2017, I think, is when I actually started making these, like Airy Beasts. Uh -huh. um, I made them first for some Christmas presents. Oh, look at that one. And then they were just so re well received from my family and friends <laughs> that I was like, I'm gonna do a 365 day project. I'm gonna make one a day, every day for a whole year. And then my whole thing would be, I'm when I do sell them, they'll be $36.50. <laughs> because of the whole, oh, yeah, <laughs> so I started off small, small, and then I enjoyed it so much. By the end of that, I was making like these really intricate, crazy ones, and I was still selling them for thirty six fifty, and and they were just like going, 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 and I was like, this is a thing, yay, this is great, I love it, and I, I so does everybody else, <laughs> yeah, so let's just keep going. <laughs> They are. They're super cute. So if somebody wanted to, oh, what? This one glows in the dark. You guys look. Yeah. It's a haunted, oh, haunted wow. gourd. Yeah. A gourd <laughs> goblin. Gourd goblin. I like it. So if somebody was going to start, wanted to start trying to sculpt. What would you recommend to them as maybe uh, good initial painting and sculpting supplies? I like this guy. I like I honestly just go to your craft store and go down the aisle that has all the polymer clay and grab colors you like and grab some tools you like and just go for it. Just jump in. Just jump in and start playing. And I I feel like once you start playing with the clay, the clay talks to you. You see it. You start making things and the more you do well, it, the better, the better I mean, you get it. It's not like it. you can really do it wrong. It's clay, right? So right. You know, you can just kind of start over pretty easy if you make a mistake, unless it's, yep. oh, this is cool. And even after you bake them, you can carve at them. You can drill them. You can smash oh. them and re-glue them together. <laughs> that is actually an interesting point. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess I, I, really I have a theory that you really can't oh. mess up art. You just, you really can't mess up art. If something happens, you just kind of embrace it and keep going. Keep going. That's my my take. <laughs> only only accidents turn into something cool usually. In fact, I think some of my greatest pieces were accidents. And then I learned and that just So now when will you be doing pivoted. your next drop? Okay, pivoted. yeah. My, Ooh, look at all my next um, update is November. 22nd at 3.33, oh. exactly. 
So it's one one, two two, three 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 three. Pacific that Standard is Time. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm one really one two two obsessed three three. With three. <laughs> Well, it's kind of easy to remember that though too, so that's cool. It's also what it's one day after my bloom day, so it's a Monday. Your your what day? My bloom day. day. It's when bloom I bloom. Into the it's where she wears day. her bloomers on the show and shows everybody them. Don't oh, no, I is not no. <laughs> oh boy. No. Oh, what my. kind of show am I on? It's fair enough <laughs> to talk. I thought you knew. Hi. <laughs> Well, so do you have uh, do you have this week's giveaway prize to show us? Yeah, I do. All right, let's take a look. You're gonna get a little pumpkin. <laughs> Y'all, woo pumpkin. He, is, he, she, it, it is so cute. <laughs> and hard to kill. That is definitely a plus. It's a quartable. Well, a you can definitely, kill it. Uh, definitely kill it, but at least you can put other little items. If you if you really can't keep an you know anything <laughs> alive in it, you can do toothpicks. You can, <laughs> you can just I be mean, a little I would, tool I would try. <laughs> I mean, I can't win it, so it's relatively safe right now because it's outside outside of the reach of my clutches. But uh, if I could, it might be in it might be in danger. <laughs> you can make this a little fake one out of felt. Fill it full of glitter. Felt fake Throw it at people who yeah. make you angry. Yeah. Big <laughs> So, like so you have lots of, uh, of critter faces and stuff. Do you find inspiration out in the world for these various faces, or they just come to you? Um, I would say one of the biggest inspirations for faces is my husband. He never takes a picture without making a crazy face. In fact, for his 30th birthday, I took 30 of his favorite, my favorite faces he'd ever made and put it on a cake and everybody had a shirt with their favorite face. He's a very animated man. That's and then I, you know, I also watch a lot of cartoons. <laughs> Me too. That's, uh, and that's, yeah, basically everybody. So we need a magic, we friend. need a magic word, you guys. Saturday morning cartoons. Dun, dun, dun. That's too long. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Saturday morning cartoons, it, as all one word, is too long. What? Fine, Saturday cartoons. Pineapple hat. Oh. Pineapple hat. Oh, pineapple, pineapple hat. hat. Butt silk. Butt silk. And then you know. Oh, no. Oh, no. As per a public um, spider silk one day. I like you guys. You guys are fun. <laughs> oh. You know what? This is a last well, one of leather Let's chicken. I mean, what is going on? You gotta watch the shows. They all come from stories that happen on the show. Love it. Love it. It's about three uh, years of human sense. Just enjoy. The, well, the butt silk was only about a year ago. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They, they, nobody they, was they, 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 and it's still our proudest moment. What does that say about the show? It is not our <laughs> proudest moment. It's just what hilarious. Is my proudest moment of Stormy. Well, I really enjoyed how you said this was a hairy tongue. So a hairy, a hairy tongue. tongue. Hairy, hairy tongue. tongue. Hairy tongue would be a good one. It sounds like a weird porn <laughs> name, but I think it fits it? with some of the ones you've had recently. <laughs> it does kind of fit with some of the like. I kind of like, I kind of like it, Harry, Harry Tongue. Let's see, we've got some suggestions. <laughs> we've got some suggestions. Ooh. Oh, man, my cheeks, you guys, I'm laughing. <laughs> we've got uh, Monster Hair. <clears throat> and Jay like has suggested Gordable. Mm. That is cute. And Erwinna has suggested Growing Green. So let's see, you guys. Green uh, hair, don't care. <laughs> That's cute too. Oh, these are good ones. And, and then, and then, of course, we have yours, Brooke, <clears throat> which is uh, hairy tongue. So even though we do take our suggestions from the audience, and of course, we're all sitting in here coming up with suggestions ourselves as well. Can't as you are the artist, you are the final decision maker for what you would like the uh, what you would like the magic word to be for your item. So uh, of the things presented and talked about, 
do, which, what do you I like actually, best? I actually like monster hair. I think that's you like pretty, monster hair. Yeah, I like that. All right, monster hair it is. Congratulations, Erwinna. Uh, that will be our little magic word for the week. So, let me. Yeah, it's sometimes it's just like you have to be there, and uh, <laughs> so, uh, but I have to be careful because. I also, I invite all, all my Etsy customers, you know, so I like make, enter this week's drawing as like a SIG <laughs> file in my Etsy. So I have to be careful because- like, put a helmet on, we're going in. <clears throat> right, because, you know, a lot of times, like, I don't know that I can't have something, you know, inappropriate. <laughs> I, I, think, I think historically my favorite magic word was mug mug. Mug mug, mug, mug. mug was- well, what, what was the, what was the one that we had? We had mug mug and then something else that was real similar to that, like back to back. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what it was. It was mug mug and something else. It was a mug yeah. with a face on it, so that was funny. I, yes, that was actually from this vendor, wasn't it? Ooh, yeah, like but a that. different mug. Yes. Nice. I'm jealous of your mug. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's mug so much mug. laughing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know how this works. Uh, please go visit Brooke's uh, Instagram. Her information is all in the low bar, her Instagram, her website, her Etsy store. Check them out. Give them a like, some follows. And then, of course, to be entered to win the cute little pumpkin uh, monster, monster hair succulent, put the word monster hair <laughs> in the comments of this YouTube live stream on the YouTubes after the show not the comment section that's going in during live stream the comment section after the show so <clears throat> and you guys can all get up to four entries per person you can get your extra entries by joining the youtube channel by hitting the boink join button you can join the uh, patreon channel at any level of subscription or and or join our discord at any level of subscription and all of those will get you an entry so uh, i think with that with that said, is there anything that you would like to say before we let you go, Miss Brooke? I just want to say thank you guys. That was you're so sweet to invite me into your realm this evening. I oh, thank you. I enjoyed it. We're all here. We're all <laughs> mad here. We all float down here. I like it. <laughs> good night. Have a good Bye. evening. My face, you guys. My face. So, so you, you you missed all the jokes that were going in the comments about uh, if we get uh, duck art on often enough in a row, can we then bring on goose art? I did miss that. <laughs> uh, what what does goose art consist of? I don't know, but the the point is, is it's a duck duck goose thing. I know, but now I want to know what goose art is. Is it like it's, it's probably I I do just goose like art? Duck, duck, goose joke. Look at all my golden eggs. I get that it's a duck duck goose joke. Oh my gosh, you guys, I get it. I'm just saying. In, so in the joke. What? We're going to have to search out vendors that are goose related. <laughs> goose related. Like old mother goose. I, I mean, I, 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 like, I like geese, you guys. They're so rude. Except for the Canadians. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> <laughs> Fairy Princess Holly, there's not much you don't like. Except for my attitude. <laughs> I don't like your attitude. That's true. I don't like ducks. Ducks are cute. Ducks are nice. Geese are not so nice. I almost Chickens you know, are just the best. Fairy Princess Holly, awesome. I almost I almost bought more that, that that golden lamp with that had the had the chicken on it with Bebop riding it from the Ninja Turtles at Captain Sleeky's booth. Oh yeah, that was funny. Did I ever <laughs> tell you about? Did I ever tell you my duck story, Miss Flora? No, I don't think you have. So my fairy mom told me that when I was a little sprightling, a wee little sprightling, I I asked her if I could have a duck for a pet, and she told me no. And I said why? She said because they crap all over the yard. <laughs> and she said, and after that, uh, anytime somebody asked me about it or I talked about it. I would say, and I can't have one because they quap all over the yard. <laughs> wow, you sounded That's like the boss. That's why I don't right like there. that. They're so gross. <laughs> but geese, geese are so cute. They also have the corkscrew. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Bingo. 
uh, ding, prize are done. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Whew. Okay, so before we get into our crazy news for the evening, you guys. Whew, okay, I gotta catch my breath because man, <laughs> frog, and I, I have drank almost an entire bottle of water just like sitting here, like ah. A bottle of water. Oh. Are we gonna try this water water. business? Yes, this is what we have, and also uh, Stormy has a thing that she wants to tell us about. So we, Ion, and I are gonna try this. We're gonna do a live taste testing of gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew. I actually think I have no. one in here too. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't agree. I yeah, didn't either. <laughs> right? So it was Gunther's idea. He got one this afternoon and then he acquired an extra one for Ion and I so that we could try them on the show. So, but before that, Stormy, please tell us about the thing that you want to tell us about this evening. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, so, my friend just started up her nonprofit business and she brought on me and actually Jay down in the in the in the wings uh -huh. to be a part of her business. So right now we basically just got our business license and we're starting to do some stuff. Our goal next year is to get our own food garden going. And right now we're taking trying to get like pre-made food so that we can take to families in hospice like during the holiday season and stuff like that. So what is a food garden? <laughs> it's where you base it's a garden. You grow food for, you know, that you can use to donate and give to people in need. Unforgivable fairy princess Lolly. Yeah. No, okay, I felt so this was very fairy and it needed to be shared because definitely we're working to change the world. That's good. The world yeah, needs some change. That's right. It really does. And these what, ladies what? are amazing and just generous, <laughs> just really good people. So I'm really, really blessed to get to be a part of this. So right now, this is a little design that I threw together real quick. We're going to be doing a bunch of these shirts. And this is just a quick and easy way for us to raise money. And it all goes to our nonprofit. And so that's this is awesome. the shirt that you designed, right? Yeah, this is one that I designed. We're just kind of, I'm just kind of going through stuff that I have and see what I can use. But then I'll start making more like original designs for it. Right now, we're just trying to, you know, get our money, get our fees paid, get going. So there's that one right, right. now. You can get it in black or white. And there's tank tops and sweaters. And you have 4X. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at this. They've got. Hoodies. Do you have 4XL? Do you make them group size? <laughs> no, I don't think they do. <laughs> what is this nonsense? I didn't I didn't design the website. Go to Bonfire. <laughs> yell at them. I'm going to flip the table on them so I won't get yeah. two. <laughs> and we have one more design going, but we're always going to have designs going. You can just look for Learn to Live um, on Bonfire and see what kind of shirts we have going for. We're going to do like basically 15 days campaigns so that would be great if you guys can help so, us or... okay so when people buy the sorry go ahead <laughs> what were you gonna ask i was gonna say so when people buy the shirts um, then the money from that goes to your guys's nonprofit business yeah the the company of the website takes their percentage and then the rest of us goes to the nonprofit learn to live and um we're just using that money to basically we're doing food distribution stuff, you know, making sure people have food to eat. And that is our main goal, right? That now. is we'll probably expand as we get bigger oh. and get going on things, but that's where we're starting, right. is making sure people have food to eat. So it, I feel like it's sad that awesome. that has to even be a thing. It's amazing, but it's sad that that's that's kind of the world, right? is and but i mean that's what we're doing here even with our faith right now we're changing how people are know. thinking about things we're you know helping each other and i hope we can just keep i feel like we're drawing in a lot of the good faith and we're finding each other and we're just expanding <laughs> i feel like our i feel like our new connection cricket yes. like yes we're gonna just just suddenly go <laughs> it, it, i know I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> so what was the 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 campaign name? Um, on Bonfire, you can look up this one. This campaign for this shirt is "Learn to Bloom." Learn to bloom. Okay. And hopefully, if you search "Learn to Live," you should it should bring up bring us up. I would hope. 
<clears throat> Lucha Bloom is not coming up either. How annoying. Well, basically, we, the website should just be like bonfire slash. Put it in the ticker. <laughs> oh, what do you want me to put in the ticker? I'll the put it in the ticker. For the campaign. Yes, I can. Uh, yes, I will. And I'm probably uh, going to do more of this specific design every so often, but in different colors. So if you don't want green, like, we definitely be doing a purple and a blue and and just all sorts of, we'll have different stuff. And there'll be a lot of, like, floral designs because we're going to be a food garden. So it'll be cool. And we have another one going. I just wish I knew more of how to find these. I thought it would there we go. pull it up. Yeah. Oh. I wanted the, I wanted ah, the there's dashes. Dashes. Okay. There Dashing through the nose. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? No, this is the wrong ticker. How about this one? Yay. <laughs> I feel like I, I suddenly had all these buttons to push, and I was like, oh, push the buttons. So. And then if you want to see, we have a second design going right now. It's learn-to-grow-the number two. There's another design that's really pretty um, that our our main, that the owner de designed and she's got going. And basically, they all, it all just goes to the same place. Well, all righty then. There you go. Whoa. Thank you for sharing. This is awesome. I'm feeling Ooh. dubious about this Mountain Dew. Oh, did you open it and taste it? I opened it. I've not tasted it. I've only smelled. Okay, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open mine. Here we go. Hey, Dink, how's it going? Hang on, let me open mine too. Then everybody yeah. tasted it. I want to see the reaction. <laughs> I'm just I'm grateful it's them and not me. Yeah. What do you have? You have it too, Gunther. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you already tasted it. I did. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. You go first, Ion. <laughs> Gunther's got his pinky out. <laughs> it looks, tastes like it's made of real gingers. I I feel like I'm looking at their faces and I'm like, oh, I have to go last. And those now are I'm not right. those are not very bolstering expressions. Well, like Your I turn. Said, it, it tastes like it's made of real ginger. <laughs> She's just gonna pretend to take a sip and make a funny face. That's I am not because I I really will taste it. I'm not that person. She's curious. <laughs> That's a pretty real reaction right there. <laughs> uh, how did this one make it past the cutting floor in their marketing department? Gross. Japan. How many how many Japan meetings did they have? Japan. How many meetings existed? Where and next Wednesday, it? you'll try Thanksgiving in a can. <laughs> that I'm excited. That last year, it was pretty good. Give me my straw back. <laughs> I'm so mad. I got every straw, too. Now your straw is tainted. Yeah, that's it, what I was going to say. It is, actually. It kind of, ew. Okay, so official verdict is... So, second, second attempt, maybe it's slightly better. No, it's not. No, I feel like it killed all of your good for taste. It's buttons. not going to get better. No, no, no. Now Listen, you don't. You can't no. tell. <laughs> it's like seriously, what it tastes like is ginger ale mixed with Mountain Dew, and it's flat at the same time. Oh. Like if it wasn't mm. so flat, it would probably be better. Actually, that's a really accurate description. Ginger ale mixed with Mountain Dew. It kind that's that is very accurate. I think, and it's and it's no. flat. It's flat. If it was if it was not nearly as flat, it would taste better. I liked the wicked apple. I didn't oh, have the wicked apple, good. but I stopped drinking this stuff a long time ago. Like this is the first thing I've had sugar wise like that in a while. Now that's probably melon, why the expression. Major <laughs> melon tastes really good in diet. Well, I don't know about diet, but the melon one is okay. But the apple when I was a kid in Albuquerque we had a um, manzanita um, soda that was Yay, literally Mama apple. Cita soda. No, no manzanita, manzanita. Little apple. apple. Yes. Little apple. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we had the Manzano Mountains and the Sandia Mountain nearby made it like so much better. You, there's certain words in Spanish you can never forget just because of like the area that you grew up kind of thing. And so the, the apple drink was awesome. 
because I didn't like apple juice because it wasn't carbonated. And so having the, the wicked apple, it really tastes like that hometown drink, you know? And so I like that one. Um, I'm sad to hear that the ginger ale one is <clears throat> not yeah. so good. But then again, I'm what not a big fan. What did you tear your throat before? What did it do? <clears throat> I'm not a fan of ginger ale. Period. Yeah. I like I like it? ginger ale, but this is not ginger ale. <laughs> no, I like ginger ale too, and this is not it. <laughs> uh, the thing okay. that always strikes me about Albuquerque is it's the place that Bugs Bunny always turns the wrong way. It is easy to get turned the wrong way. What? That's funny. Bugs Bunny cartoons, he would be in a little, he would be digging a little tunnel and you'd see it going walk across the ground. He'd come up and he'd look around. And go, I should have made the left at Albuquerque. Yep. <laughs> it happened like half a dozen times at least. Yeah. And if, if you make it, depending on which way you're going, if you make an left in Albuquerque, you can either end up in the Rocky Mountains or Mexico, depending on which way you're going. But yeah. So there is also another thing. There is. Uh, that, yes, that Gunther found that we were thinking about doing a live taste test with. Do you want to tell everybody, Gunther? Are you talking about the, the, the cryptid meat? Yes, the cryptid meat. Yeah. So I got some jerky somewhere, <laughs> got some jerky somewhere that I can have that sort of tastes like Loch Ness Monster, maybe some unicorn, some backstrap of Floor the Fairy, kind of that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, like, uh, what was that? Was it called cryptid meat? Was that what it yeah, was? Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> It was actually shown to me by uh, Robert Braun Bra uh, down in the gym. Oh, of course. Like, he was like, you guys might like me. this. Look at him like going, that's the most hilarious thing I've seen all week. Okay, that's here we go. I found it. This week. I'm going to show you guys. Is, is, it, is it jerky or is it uh, uh, other kinds it's of jerky. meat? Yeah. Why are you they... crossing your arms like that, Stormy? You look like you're disapproving of something. Well, Braun always plays the, 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 the really big lobster guy. He's no, the lobster, lobster guy. The lobster was, it was, was, it was Buchanan. You sure? It was just a creepy nose named Frank. Okay, well. Lobster was know, lobster, not him. <laughs> okay, my, my bad. I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I just thought he was the lobster. I am the, so, I, I am the walrus. Cook, cook at you. So here, so this is it, um, and there are some different, I think this is it, this, there are some different packs that they've they've got a selection of. So this one has like mm -hmm. troll meat, centaur meat, elf meat. What? What? Uh, yeah, I know, minotaur, I was very excited by the troll meat too. Werewolf, leprechaun, gremlin, bigfoot, yeti, and mermaid. How do they not have cherry? Though, if you ask a troll what troll meat it's actually made of, we will tell you it's it's called troll meat because it's actually all meat, but it's made of uh, of lamb. <laughs> and in this one, griffin, phoenix, chimera, kraken, basilisk, Loch Ness monster. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> so, no. Pegasus, so the chimera, dragon, so unicorn, and chupacabra. So chimera, I bet you that one t changes his taste halfway through, right? <laughs> nice. I mean, they have Elf. Do they have Elf on the shelf? Do they have Elfo? Do they have what? Elfo. It's Elf food. What? They you have Elf. No, elf. elf food is called Lambus. Lambus. <laughs> Smoked Elf. So I think the idea, I like, we, I think maybe if we somehow i don't know i if we like ordered them and then maybe just like shipped one off or cut them in half or something and then shipped them off so that all of us could have no, have a couple different in. ones to try on the show what do you guys so what, think that's that what we yes, do is we, we, get, do we, get, we get an order for you me ion and floor and flora then we send the order down to famous day and we send the order out to stormy Dude, look how much they are yeah we can yeah i think i think, think they're kind of spending so we might and have whatever to, like, is left we will donate to the to to the bonfire thing 
with food. I'm thinking they next May when we go out to so. Two Rivers, we should take a big package with us and we can all sit down and and, and the video our trying experience. to eat it with Bjorn and freaking Tyrion. Yeah. <laughs> Bjorn would like it. Tyrion would like it. We'd all be freaking drunk. It'd be great. I will eat till May of next year. That's more than five. So what you're saying is we don't do that, but we stop on the way and get the sodas. <laughs> oh, yeah, from the crazy, that yeah. little crazy candy place. Ooh. We can have the soda know, tasting after three years because we haven't had it in three years. I want to do as long candy. as you don't get the soda that has the um, the 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 orange one, the orange things, the things the, that, that, that Dame Kira is allergic to. Oh, okay. no balls. No kumquats. What? Ooh, oh, kumquats. No kumquats so for Dame Kira. Oh, wow. yeah, like, don't get the orange drink. I'm like, are you noticing with orange? <laughs> I mean, oranges, she does not like oranges. They make her tummy upset, but then kumquats actually make her, like, oh, oh. unhappy. Nope. They make her very unhappy. Oh, you guys, okay. I found it. I found mythical meat in the land the of page? Amazon, so we can just have them shipped straight to you guys. Ooh. Cool. I want a not spicy one. Did you just get a whole bunch of new cages, Morbid? Wait, what just happened? Yes. Did I do this? No, no what's I didn't. going on? I was trying to make it a little morbid. <laughs> oh, what in the heck? Oh, you have to put him in the corner where Stormy is and then hit the button that you were hitting. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Or when it's like this, you can just <laughs> drag and drop. Oh my god. What the? I do that. I do that during the weekend. I I just followed... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. What is that hideous thing? Here comes the horse stuff. Uh, 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 uh. You don't you don't know? It's an undead gnome. What does it look like? What's wrong with you? Where have you been for the last 25 billion years? It's an undead gnome. Gnome. No, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about her. I've yeah, been it's trying from to Alaska. figure out whether I've been trying to figure out whether or not all dinosaurs are chickens. It's a joke. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen Alaska. up, Socrates. <laughs> Pull your jet, Socrates. <laughs> I've been up since very early. I'll laugh at anything. It's early, so crazy and be so crazy. Very and early. Coven. So my, my, fa my favorite Socrates more. quote: "I drank what?" <laughs> I would talk to Thor more during the week, but I'm afraid that she might Socrates snap at me because she's been up since four o'clock in the morning every morning for the past three years. Three years? Oh, that's adorable that you think it's only three years. I thought you got maybe a nap somewhere in there. What's a nap? Uh, okay. How old? How old are her younglings? And that is the answer. And why do you let them do that to you? <laughs> Let's not have this conversation during Faye after dark. Yeah. <laughs> Faye after dark. Because she hasn't perfected the sleeper hold yet is the correct answer. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the articles, Fairy Princess Lala? Lala. It I'm going to fire you from this show if you call me that again. It is not funny. Hey, does this rag smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> Leech and rubbing alcohol? Leech and rub. Does that work? That's how you make chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like the purple berries. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> Homer. Sirens don't know. All right. I mean, I don't even know right now, but... This is tonight. I'll just keep going. Hey, oh, come with the e-frog here. No. Mano, mano. No. No. Okay. okay, I guess we're just going to have, like, the... Do, 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 do. The... No, mano. Battle of... <laughs> do, just... do, do, do. Mano, ah. mano. We're just going to have the... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing everything she can to stop the puppets right now. <laughs> no, it's my obligatory warning. Uh, we are officially entering the not the the, the not child friendly portion of the show. The way this actually goes Wait, is it's been child friendly. This whole oops. The way this no, it, goes is that we're going to definitely we're, not be <laughs> going is, in, is what Lolly. I'm about to say. Lolly. What? It doesn't go like that. It does. We are now leaving the <clears throat> PG-13 area of the show and entering. The Flora Zone. 
articles. Okay, got it. No, it's Flora versus Morbid right now. It's Battle of the Vibrators. And our no! one. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Is Holland and Barrett enter the vegan sex toy market with vegetable shaped vibrators versus <laughs> Wand Vision, a Miami based art artist designed a sculpture made of vibrators. So Wand Vision. It's Wand Vision. <clears throat> Yes. Ah, wow. I can't even believe. The what is the matter with you guys choosing these articles? Uh, if you want to hear about vegetable vegetables, vegetables are good for you. Number one. And if you want to hear about sculptures, <laughs> then press number two. And I own start the timer, please. I'm just trying to say, you know, <laughs> YouTube hears me say these words, and then suddenly uh, we are we're in the the yellow marketing zone. Not the red, but not the green. I'm just no. telling you. It is, have, this I, show is only suitable for some advertisers, not so all it. advertisers. So for, that, for, that, for that first article, I don't think it could necessarily be vegan because if there's any plastic in it whatsoever, you can't guarantee that it's only plant fossil fuels used so to make that plastic. But how do you even link. know? Because we haven't even read to see what they're made out of. Well, it said it was vegan. No. Exactly. What? I have uncovered a way for us to do karaoke during a stream. Oh no! However, what? it would be it would be over. It would have to be over Twitch. Can we do it over Discord? Because if we did it on Discord, then other people in the hedge could come do it with us. I will reach out and check. But I found a way to do it online at least, and it can be streamed. And Stormy said she'd be the first victim. Are you sure you want that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, your hearing loss. <laughs> Listen, if you've if you've ever been to karaoke, it actually just means bad singing. And it's true. <laughs> Unless I'm singing sweet transvestite, then it's off the chain. <laughs> That's okay. I okay, did. so we have Time's up. Dink, I don't know what your vote is for because there is no number 12, but you have a one and a two. So what's happening right now? Let's see. Uh, so we've got two votes for two and one vote for one. And I guess that means uh, it is article number two, which is the wand vision. Miami based artist designed a sculpture made of vibrators. No, yours won. I, it, <laughs> I'm too tired. Yeah, I was gonna say she looks exhausted. She's like, Yay! not really. I don't I'm even know what to think of the article. Like, wow, the picture, the opening picture is just <laughs> speechless. <clears throat> I'm scared. As you, you know what's you know what's hilarious about all this is right I actually just so. I behold our field of fucks. I literally. <laughs> I literally turned around. Oh to me my god! I said I need more articles, and all of a sudden, Flora and <laughs> and Morbid and Count Morbid came articles, through, and this is what I get. So you ask, and you shall <laughs> receive vibrators. So now this is the way of telling me I was being a dildo. I am going to now read the maker of one of the world's most widely recognized sex toys is inviting audiences to come and experience. A new exhibit made entirely of decommissioned vibrators. What? Wait, they're inviting audiences to what? Pardon? Experience a new exhibit made entirely of decommissioned vibrators. Following a nationwide competition aptly called Pleasure as Art. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. <laughs> the more you know. <clears throat> the magic, uh, the manufacturer of the seminal magic wand, commissioned a Miami-based artist to produce an interactive exhibit. Interactive, what? That will be unveiled at a trade show early next year, and will as then I be understand featured. It, they usually are. And then will be. I don't want to. I don't. I feel. I have questions. Let's see. 
Uh, let's see, Vitra is traveling exhibit to various yet to be announced prominent retailers across the nation. The piece will first be featured uh, be, the piece will first be featured adult novelty manu at the Adult Novelty Manufacturers Expo in January of 2022 in Burbank, California. Deriving inspiration... I still thought that would be in Las Vegas. I, I know, right? <laughs> Deriving inspiration from a combination of science fiction sources, I mean, I'll say, and a Renaissance and Renaissance era paintings that emphasize sensuality and sexual expression... Artist and illustrator Daphne Blade is constructing an interactive exhibit made solely from defective magic wand sex toys that were unintentionally damaged during a production or shipping. The Napa, California-based sex toy manufacturer Vibratex, which makes more than half a million of the toys each year, shipped more than 100 magic wand vibrators to Blade to create the sculpture. I mean, just imagine the porch pirate that could have got that Amazon shipment or whatever, right? Lands on her porch, some porch pirate comes by, opens it up. There's like a thousand billion vibrators inside. I mean, that would be hilarious. I'd laugh so hard. That's so, a large package to go on a porch. <clears throat> ha ha, ha ha ha. My, what a big package you have. No, actually, I wasn't making an innuendo. It, it is a hilarious innuendo. <laughs> yeah, it still makes sense, too. Uh, though these wands won't have their chance to deliver physical pleasure, they certainly they can still certainly make people happy, reads a memo announcing Blade, uh, who uses they, them pronouns, as the winner of the art competition. The goal, they tell New York Times, is in, in, in an interview is to create art that will broadly speak to the abstract concepts of sensuality and pleasure. If you need a visual, think of it as a Ferris wheel-like throne made of magic wands. This piece is composed of about 300 individual parts and can be dismantled and reassembled in sections so that it can be shipped. I hear the art exhibit is generating a lot of buzz. Uh, yes, people are just absolutely vibrating in anticipation, with anticipation. Uh, let's see, a lot of... <laughs> uh, so I guess that's what this thing is supposed to look like? How is it interactive? What's it supposed to do that makes it interactive? Do I even want to know the answer to this question? <laughs> Uh, it's like you've never gone out and looked at the stay only. At, the, at this point, I'm I'm mostly wondering uh, what what was wrong with them in the first place. Because uh, they're all decommissioned, uh, misfit magic wands, if you will. <laughs> the island of misfit well, magic wands. Welcome to the island of misfit sex toys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, a lot of times they are from the point of view of a male painter, and I wanted to bring in either a more gender neutral or feminine perspective, Blade tells New York Times or the New Times. I wanted to make a modern divine entity that just kind of embraces the ideas of sensuality, vulnerability, and consent. A modern divine entity. When, they, when you word it like that, and I look at this picture, I'm suddenly like, it's no, it's you know, the you know, Lovecraft. Like, this is the Cthulhu monster of magic wands, right? This just, this just makes it go, oh, yeah. No. I If I look at that, I, I just imagine that that is some sort of weird, weird Lovecraftian creature now. And I don't even know what to think. Blade is a self-described, overly sensitive artist who expresses momentary feelings through attention to detail. Their work, they say, in, invites viewers to step into worlds that blur the lines of fantasy and reality. A panel of judges, including industry professionals, sex experts, and representatives from the Northern California-based queer advocacy organization. Wow, that was a mouthful. Uh, there's no way to say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that says it right there. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Freezing. <clears throat> picked Blade's concept from 20 submissions that were considered. The whole point is that I want to invite anyone to be the center of this magical wand realm and the center of their own pleasure to empower everyone. 
Blade says, that's really the main goal in both my piece and I think to a degree too from Magic Wands. I know this isn't meant for this article, but it should apply here. Okay, I can't read any more of this, you guys. I'm done. I, I don't even know what to think about that. Hey, when you're finished, you're finished. Wow. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh welcome back, Stormy. Hi. <laughs> Where'd you go? Did it, did it disturb you that much? Yes. I don't even know. It, it did you went out to me. order one? <laughs> yes, I need the sculpture. In my backyard. <laughs> hey, 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 Crazy. Stormy! I bought Crazy. I bought one of your T-shirts. It says I bought the first one. Wait, what? Who? Where? What? I, I bought one of the T-shirts for the oh, you did? The, the, oh. the food garden. Thank you. You'll have to send me a picture of you when you get it. Awesome! Definitely. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah. That is yeah. that is a lot of information to swallow. <laughs> the phrasing is the best. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you guys got more, I'm sure. Laura's being awfully quiet. <laughs> oh, and Lolly just left. Okay, we've offended the princess. I'm right here. <laughs> you, you, you left the out, show. Denver? I can't kick you out. You're the only person I can't kick out. <laughs> yeah. That was really weird. I yeah, was you, both, like I was the only thing I can do is this. I our, what I have our articles. Whew, okay. <clears throat> this is the only thing I could do with you. Ready? No, I'm not. No, I want you to stop. Please don't do things. Okay. Thank you. Please oh. don't do things. Okay, let's see. Article number one. Mega spider, mega spider is the biggest of its kind we've ever seen. Australian Reptile Park says. Versus Colorado man sets mom's home ablaze trying to clear cobwebs with a blow to perch. Oh, wow. So it's kind of like the spider, the oh. spider off here. <laughs> burn it, burn it to the ground. Yes. So if you want to hear about uh, Australia's mega spider, press number one. And if you want to hear about clearing cobs with cobwebs with blow torches, press number two. I am, please start the timer. <sighs> It's so strange because every time you do that, I see your fan art. I know it's so weird. <laughs> so <cute. clears throat> what am I supposed to be noticing? How long? Oh, noticing that I'm gone. I get it. Never mind. Since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. This is what you guys are ordering for karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> I, I am, in fact, Everybody confused. Drink. Everybody just, yep. Just chug. Hook up an IV, folks. Hook up an IV. <laughs> hey, guys, guys. So I think who all wants to see Ghostbusters Afterlife? Hey, guys, listen. I think we all need to speak in a more soothing tone so that Flora can rest. Because I think no. of loud, sharp voices. We just need to ASMR this motherfucker. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have sleep. that soothing of a voice. You're not the worst. I mean, I put the husband to sleep anytime I try to talk to him. Yeah, he's I'm, just I'm pretty sure that Count Morbid is trying to say without saying that I'm actually the worst. Did I mention he's just old? He, yes, so did, the way that you know that that's a fairy skeleton is the fact that it's rainbow. It's fairies have iridescent bones. Somebody forgot to clap. Put your hands together and give her the clue. <laughs> we have one, two, no, wait. One. Don't ask me to count two, them. Three. three votes. No, we have three votes for number two. And uh, yes. Does that make it the Colorado the man? Story? It's uh, Alicia, Alicia Shepard. That's another YouTuber here. And you can actually go find her channel. She plays a lot of live live streaming of Minecraft. But uh, she did. She is Minecraft. doing fan art of each of us, and Ion was one of the first ones that has done Justinian, Stormy, Ion, Count Morbid, myself, and Gunther is the next one being worked on, as I understand it. So, 
Uh, article number two. Wow, this dude is. I mean, I'm not even sure he looks. For the record, that's my second piece of fan art. I think oh. it's your third piece of fan art. You're a piece of fan. I could art. be wrong. I thought it was your third. What? I thought it was the second. I'm not gonna even say how many. I'm, I don't have much in the way of fans, I think, is what it is. Ah, uh, no, stop. What the? Shh. Don't make noise at me. I hate that. Mm. Sorry. I'll, I'll be quieter. No, not you guys. Mm. <laughs> not you guys. The That's website that I clicked on. Nice. Here we go. <clears throat> A Colorado man was arrested this week for setting his mom's house on fire after using a blowtorch to clear cobwebs, the sheriff's office said. I mean, wow. what? Who does this? Let's see. John, John Charles Streckenbach, apparently, is the one who does this, who's 39, <laughs> was arrested on suspicion of first-degree arson, criminal mischief. Criminal mischief. What is the definition of criminal mischief? When you're doing mischief and they think you're a criminal. Look at that guy. His hair gives him away. <laughs> His hair gives him away. Like he's going through the grocery store and they're just like criminal. So his hair's too much. Can't do it. Uh, causing twenty to a hundred thousand dollars in damages. Possession of a controlled substance. Oh, so. Meth basically explains He's everything. He's controlling here. substances that's bad for his health. And violation of a protection order. I mean, that's fire okay. authorities responded to a fire at a home in the 8800 8, block of Vermilion Road, north of Longmont, just before 4:30 p.m. on Wow, on Monday. Fire personnel, upon arriving, arriving, could see smoke coming from the roof of the single story, single family residence, the Boulder County Sheriff's Office said in the press release. Investigators say the man acknowledged using a blowtorch to clear cobwebs in the crawl space under the home. Why was he, what? Why was he even down there? Like, nah. Have you ever yeah. seen arachnophobia? <laughs> I'm sorry. Illegal uh, controlled substances, right? Investigators say the man. Uh, by the way, I have the definition of criminal mischief if you're interested. Why? Oh, yeah. Okay. Why don't do it. that. What is it? Under Colorado law, criminal mischief occurs when someone knowingly damages the real or personal property of one or more other persons. Did you really have to look that up? Yes. 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 I feel yes, like yes. I just aged 20 years by you reading that in 20 seconds. Nope. No, I'm I mean... glad. Wait, does that mean your maturity level has reached the teens? No, I hang out with Flora. Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> Shots fired, Count Morbid. Wow. I, I for one, I for one, thank Ion for his contribution because uh, knowledge is power, and knowing is half the battle. Yes, it, it allows, knowingly allows me to contribute to the damages of other people's stuff and the, uh, the other yeah TV. yeah i for one like to know what ha you know what somebody can be charged with when they yes, screw with somebody i'd like to know what i'm going to be charged with when i mess up <laughs> yeah. someone's stuff thank you <laughs> when i clear cobwebs that, that was specifically I've, colorado's version to be fair yeah. i cleared cobwebs with uh with um a lighter and and hairspray before yes you go. also cleared farts with uh, no, let's not go there. He tried to put out the fire for an hour by himself before calling emergency crews. The fire was extinguished around 5.30 p.m. No one was injured in the fire, but it caused around $100,000 in damage. You know, if it was around $100,000, why did they say, like, up here in the beginning, that it's twenty to 100000 That's a huge range. That's closer to zero. That's, like, between zero and $100,000. It's closer to that than to say like eighty to a hundred thousand. I'm guessing yeah. the twenty to a hundred is actually part of the criminal mischief charge specifically, rather than an estimation of how much damage he did in this case. Okay, that's fair. So it was not immediately clear if Struckenbach has retained an attorney who could speak on his behalf. Well, that's the end of the article. Okay. Uh, we didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. <laughs> it's basically true. It's it's at the center of the earth. It's molten. Although in this case, it is being blamed on spiders. I blame I blame Professor Umbridge. Just 
un, in the crawl space of the house with a blowtorch. I mean, it, like fire. <laughs> Worst I, game of Clue ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so to be fair, to be fair, fairy princess Lolly, you would try to nuke it in the microwave. So. I really want to put soap in the microwave now, though. Cricket's idea was amazing, and I feel like I need to make. I feel like I need to make. Maybe I should make that my first TikTok video. Yes, make I, a video. I, I believe I mean, the that murder was committed by Colonel Mustard underneath the house. Yeah, the <laughs> in the crawl space with in the, the crawl torch. space with the blowtorch. <laughs> oh crazy. man, so I thought bad. it was the conservatory with the candlestick. You guys encouraging her. I mean, she's going to make a TikTok of her blowing the house up now. <laughs> I don't live there. I don't care. That but if actually, they don't have a place to live, they'll all come down there. Yeah, that's true. No, they'll, they'll down there too. no my, my area land. <clears throat> we know where you live. You can, you can sleep in my chicken coop. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'll, let your chicken poop. I'll let you take that up with the roommates. I can I invade. It, it wouldn't be the first time. My chickens what? are nice. I don't. I, mean, I don't. What? I don't feel like Except you're the talking about right? the same thing that we're talking about. I don't feel like you're talking about the same thing any of us talk about ever. Back of a Volkswagen. That's true. Clowns. That's a very uncomfortable <laughs> position to be in. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So there we go. Uh, I guess that's the end of that article. You got, oh man, why is that even still in here? Didn't you I'm remove just, it? I just don't understand this particular pied cormorant poo wreaking havoc for York Peninsula businesses. What is what? that? What is what that? How many eyeballs the are in the only way to find out the information under a headline. I know. She doesn't do that, though. That was the whole conversation before we actually started the show. Is there a contest to count the eyeballs in the cage, Morbid? There should be. I'm just trying to make sure they're all looking outwards. But I like that idea. Contest. What in the... Wait, contest? What What about contest? How, many, like contest? How many eyeballs are in the cage? <laughs> well, clearly the eyes have it, and you have to do it now. <clears throat> <coughs> Thank Excuse you, me. Ion. Let's see it's here. Theme. No, I I'm kind of You are the number one pupil. <laughs> oh wow. That was terrible. Awesome. I don't I mean, even know what's happening anymore. Now everybody has what? to So this time you don't know what's happening. Now what does that mean, huh? That Everyone eat a beef drink. Drink. It's the opposite of drinking. The, so you we, go, all, we all get to go, go to bed. To rehab? <laughs> what? The oh my god! So you go to rehab, right? <laughs> I guess. I don't. Need... But they're it's no just... fun there. <laughs> when Gunther is confused, we all have to tell Lolly to stop it. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh. Facebook ads told me to become a certified cryptozoologist. I thought so you were a zoologist. I was like, I'm in? Uh, so I did. <clears throat> that is article number one. Versus New York firefighters rescue a naked man stuck in a bathroom wall for several days. So if you want to hear <laughs> about becoming a certified cryptozoologist, press number one. And if you want to hear about naked man stuck in bathroom wall, press number two. I am please stop the timer. No, how that happened? I need to know the story. <laughs> the brown cow. So, so the contest now is trying to figure out the theme that made her pick these two together. Uh, because I just didn't want to keep reading, and I was like, these two are funny. I will just put them <laughs> together. <laughs> there was no theme. There is time. no method to her madness. Why'd you have to ruin the game for everybody else? That's right. There is no method to my madness. I am indefatigable. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a word. Indefatigable. We do routines and chorus scenes with footwork and impeccable. We dine well here in Camelot. We am and damn and spend a lot. What is happening? <laughs> 
We're knights of the round table. We dance whenever we're able. We do routine teens and chorus scenes with footwork and back cable. We dine well here in Camelot. We eat ham and jam and some love. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. No, no, no. I know. This is from the court jester with Danny Kay. I know it's from the court jester with Danny Kay. No, it isn't. What's happening right now? She's trying to sing Monty Python's and has no British accent and really sucks at it. No, I'm pretty sure it's the court jester with Danny Kay. Okay, let me try it again. Ready? <clears throat> we're knights of the round table. We dance whenever we're able. We do routines and chorus scenes with footwork and pet cable. We dine well here in Camelot. We eat ham and jam and spam a lot. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> he leaves. <laughs> oh, yes, go away. Come on, such a silly place. Time. <coughs> only Don't a model. Do that. What? It's only a model. Don't, don't do that. Do what? Back of a Mute Volkswagen. My mic. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but a lovely I bunch found, of coconuts. I found bunch Lego bunch. chickens today. Lego chickens? I thought you said mega chickens. No, Lego. <laughs> Those are I... called dinosaurs. Those are called <laughs> <laughs> Well played. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. So I shake my butt. <laughs> you know the time. The first time, the first time I was saying that, Fairy Princess Lolly did not believe that those were the words to the song. By the way, if we have if we have duck art on as a guest a couple more times, can we follow it with goose art? Here we go. Again. We already made that joke. You're so behind. Uh, technically, oh, I believe I made it in the comments first, but sure. Yes. Yeah, okay, we because you weren't on the show. One vote in. for one. So, even though I'm on, I'm I'm with you, Cobble. I want to hear about being a certified cryptozoologist. Because uh, what does that even mean? But I guess that everybody else wants to hear about naked man stuck in bathroom wall. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the second one is also a cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> number one covers number two. Straight, straight out of a cask of a Montiato or whatever. Uh, uh, and Edgar Allan Poe. Thank you, Ion. Let's see. Here we go. Now so, the country no, are no so be quiet. I don't want to hear your voice. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and then it comes down here in this little thing. <clears throat> okay. Firefighters in upstate New York on Friday rescued a naked man who was stuck for several days inside the bathroom wall of a theater. Fire officials said. <laughs> that was me. I'm sorry. Got his own bathroom. What is he? Okay, now, now I need to know even more. I, I, I okay. I just want to think about this too, right? Like it makes sense that he'd be stuck in his own bathroom wall for days, especially if he lived alone, right? And then he's just stuck in there, and like nobody comes by to check on him. But how, how does that theater, make more sense? Like, does he make more sense? other people yeah, using the bathroom? How? Do they just think that that wall is haunted, or like, like there's a dude and they're like, oh, boy, you know, if he gets stuck there like, during the Sunday matinee, they're not going to discover him until Wednesday. A rehearsal. <laughs> Syracuse Fire Besides, Department. Most theaters are haunted anyway. <laughs> just after seven thirty a.m. to the landmark theater after employees heard someone banging on the wall and yelling for help. How before they were like I think it might be a real person guys it's not a ghost <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay the department said in a Facebook post the adult male who was not immediately identified was believed to have entered the theater two or three days ago it was not immediately clear how he was able to get behind the wall according <laughs> to the department <clears throat> Well, was it was it later clear? If it wasn't immediately clear, to make it out? like come on, so, so, so there's a response that goes, "Oh, that's how." Firefighters with Rescue Company One drilled a hole in the wall and used a fiber optic camera to find the man's exact location in the wall. The department said, after determining the best way to extract the man, officials said firefighters carefully cut through. <laughs> That looks like the most careful cut through drywall I've ever seen. Oh like, look at that. Yes, they very carefully <laughs> cut through that drywall. Yeah, so that's, careful. That's, that's like what happens in a cartoon when you run away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was was no, the guy was the guy 
was he gutted and died and bled out? This is no. what happened. Then it was carefully the, cut drywall. They 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 wrote the article before they actually saw the pictures. I think is what happened. No, or they're blind. <laughs> no, if if the guy survived this, then it was carefully done. Let's see. The 39-year-old man was not wearing any clothes when firefighters <laughs> freed him. Syracuse, uh, whatever, the fire department told them. The man was taken to Upstate University Hospital for treatment. Kane said the man appeared uninjured and would likely be treated for dehydration. That's it? That's all we get to know about this article? Why was oh. he naked? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! What? Well, some, somehow you being naked would you rather be found clothed or naked if you're stuck in a wall? Hi, Tim. Stop eating fabric. Come here. <laughs> this is why you'll end up naked <clears throat> in a wall. By the way, I want you guys to note that uh, carefully cut by the fire department's definition means use a sledgehammer. That is, <laughs> look at that, that sledgehammer he's holding in this picture. Yes, carefully. Again, carefully carefully cut means the person survives this. Yeah, very subjective, I see. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, man. That news article had such a lack of any... Uh, they, no. they, they didn't reveal how he got in there or why he got in there or really oh when gosh. he got in there. Let's, hey, so did I tell if, you guys that, that somebody finally showed me the bean footage? If, if, <laughs> Barry Princess Lolly, if, if that article felt unsatisfying and didn't feel complete, we can go back to the vibrator article. Why? No. I oh. think um, someone Thank already you, Stormy. said we should... We should um, Check out the cryptozoology. No, thing. no, no. I love the count to 10. Wait for Stormy to get it reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it goes over, but then it comes back and I get it. <laughs> it takes Just a deep You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Just going to leave that there for now. I'm coming over here now. My I mean, there's people is, who really do get a rise out of cryptozoology. Titan's still in for me. Oh. <laughs> I just saw a twitching bun bun. Twitchy's super mad right now. Got in trouble. So Are you still like... talking about that article? <laughs> so mad. Why so mad? Because mad he bunny. didn't get to hit a cryptozoology article. How come Flora doesn't do a show with chickens? Right. Why don't you bring your chickens on the street? They're a tough crowd. Because <laughs> that would Chick be outside. And a, yeah, chicken stream. <laughs> Mormon, what are you? Why are you? I think he's trying to stay calm. Out of the gutter already. No. no. <laughs> Mormon, what are you doing? Oh. Well, we okay. started another article, please. I'm too Mormon, tired for this. Oh, I don't even know right now. Okay. Woman films a ghost encounter at a haunted Derbyshire hall versus how, how a fake David Bowie trolled the entire internet. What? Exactly. Oh, so if you want to it's hear cold, about cold, the woman cold, filming cold, the ghost cold. encounter, press number one. And if you want to hear about the fake David Bowie trolling the internet, press number two. Ion, start the timer. <clears throat> I thought how we can, were going to have an article sure there was in ever, here. What? Okay. I was going to say, how can we be sure there was ever a real David Bowie? Really? Oh. We're going to do this? Well, oh, I, I thought we were going to have an article in here this show week that uh, had to do with had to do with fair, proof of fairies being found. So uh, we... you remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the, the power. The babe with the power. Oh, Lolly, you don't get to join in. <laughs> you just denied all acknowledgement of the babe just a second ago. <laughs> Gunther, that was that was. <laughs> Cold. And she left. Oh she my god. Back. Poor Princess oh, Lolly wasn't allowed to play in any of the reindeer games. <laughs> Jeez. Poor Princess Lolly. Oh. 
<laughs> all by myself. I don't want to be all by myself. <laughs> Where is everybody going? Oh, no. Uh, Gunther is effing with things, and it's making me angry, so I have to go take away his powers. You were saying, she was sitting all by myself, so I was going to put you all by yourself for a second. Right. I, I want you to stop doing things like that, please. No, I, I thought I was good. I, I didn't get to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to quit messing like, with oh, cool. I went away. I can go sleep now. She's going to be getting mad at me. And I was just trying to do a, a thing and play with. I'm sorry. I'm I will taking not play advantage with things of this. Anymore. Let's see here. I the internet uh, was gone again. Fake. Yes. Sorry. So the, the it, ghost was number one and fake Bowie was number two. <coughs> Excuse Have me. we really not even started the timer yet? No, we started the timer, and it looks like there was oh. votes for one. The timer which finished. Was the ghost, not the fake? Button. I must have napped. Power of voodoo. Do do. Do what? Rolly. <laughs> Rolly. What? Remind me of the babe. That's what you were supposed to say with it. Uh, you told me I couldn't do it anymore, so I didn't do it. Oh, oh stop. I was playing with you. He was trying to make up for it. That was so sad. It's a little sad. late. Like, too late. Okay. Here we go. Woman films ghost encounter at Haunted Derbyshire Hall. <clears throat> I kind of want to watch this and see if the oh. actual video is there. It never uh, is. What? Always a lie. It's never there. I know. It seems like that's the truth. The truth is that it's always a lie. Uh, let's see. A paranormal expert says she has been left shocked after experiencing a ghostly encounter on a... Oh, you know what? I have that cool ghost footage from <laughs> Samhain, and I think that I'm going to put that up as a patron-only viewing little viewing video. That'll be fun. I was, I've been wondering what to do with it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make it like a patron only thing. So like YouTube, YouTube subscriber slash patron only thing. Anyway, Charlene Lowe Kemp, that was Charlene Lowe Kemp 32 was visiting the old Greasley Hall in Swaddling Coat after hearing of its troubled past. She says the hall, which dates back to the 15th century, was built from the materials and, uh, from the materials and on the site of the old Greasley Priory, which dates from the 12th century. She adds that the hall has previously been haunted by monks, children, and a maid thought to have lived and died there over the years. <clears throat> Previous visitors of the site have reported an unkind man and woman appearing several times. She said, we went to old Greasley Hall, it was a few weeks ago now, but we've investigated there before. It is one of those buildings where something always seems to happen that makes you question whether there is an afterlife. This particular night, there were only four of us there and we were investigating the second floor. We were doing an EVP session and the bear in front of the chair was flashing as if it were being touched. What? The bear? The bear in front of the chair. What does that even mean? Uh, Charlene, I, oh. I think it might be one of, there's there's these things that they can put into like stuffed animals or something, and it's a light that maybe like electronic fields can mess with. I don't know if that's what it is, but I've seen stuff like that used. Oh, here a, they had okay, they had like some kind of a. Do you so see it? Oh. Light in it that if like a ghost touches or comes within the magnetic field, it'll make it the light go off. What's called is a trigger object, and yeah, they'll put an EMF reader that will trigger a light in it if a ghost comes near it. If it's a child because it's a toy, the, the ghost is drawn to the toy, and it causes it to go off. It's called a trigger, a trigger object. Trigger. That, that thing. A scare bear. A, a scare bear. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I thought that phrase was about a gay site. So what's she looking at? That's kind of my question. Like, watch her head. I on threw a really good joke in there. Right there. Did you guys it. see it? That? Did you see it? Yeah. Replay Here. it real quick. I didn't see it. Where is it? Is it playing? Is, did I? Oh, I super fast forwarded it. Whoops. Roll the beautiful bean footage. 
<laughs> all that beautiful being footage. I love that saying so much now. There. It's like a little shooting star. Yeah. Here we go. Playing it again. See it? Yeah, that's that's normally a, a bug. Well, look when they zoom in on it. It looks like a bug. Yeah, that looks like a bug. Bug. That looks like a dive bombing fly or something. Or a gnat. That looks bigger than a gnat for sure. Yeah, but if you watch it, if you, it depends on the frames per second because if you have too too slow, it'll track like a like a line like that, regardless of the size. If I was to run through the frame in that moment, all you'd see is a giant blur covering the whole camera because of the frames per second. Well, it says after streaming the session on Facebook, Charlene reviewed the footage and noticed that it looked like something had been thrown in the air. She adds that she and her team of other investigators did not expect such a haunting reaction to occur. She added, there was a fly going round us at the time. So when we initially heard a drop, we thought it was that the fly had flown into something, but it felt too strong to have been a fly. So on reviewing the footage, you can see something comes in and is like thrown over. You hear a thud on the floor and it's very loud. We finished off in there and had heard walking at the back of the room as well. We went upstairs and had a ball fly off the table as well, which is really quite rare to have that kind of activity in one night. It's definitely no. one of the most hard <laughs> things. I, I can also say that that is kind of rare to have that. I have not experienced things flying at me before, though I have found anomalies. Like you were there when we found anomalies in a, in a place before, Lolly. Yeah. So, I mean, so to have something flying at you, if you can have video evidence of that, that's fine. But never include that in this kind of thing unless you have it videoed. Because otherwise, it's just a personal experience. You can't prove it. If you can prove it, I mean, that's just my suggestion. Otherwise, it discredits you. You know what I mean? Well, I, I'm not. I don't know why you're telling me that. Like, I'm not making a video right now. No, I'm no, no. I'm saying that these people. Like, if oh. you're going to have this happen... If you're going to talk about the ball flying off the table, have some idiot, uh, have some evidence of it, or say, oh, "I had a personal experience where I experienced this." You know what I mean? Otherwise, yeah, I mean it's just my personal thing, I guess. They're I'm going being, to be I'm going being to, They're going to be going back to see if they can recreate it and seeing if they can capture anything remotely similar. So you know those little balls of light that I have, the little ones that I can, the tiny ones. Yes. That I gave Dorian some. Are they Wait, what about Gunther's tiny balls? <gasps> Raising. <laughs> they're, they're, first off, we don't talk about the tiny ones. We talk about the salty giant ones. However, the light-up ones are tiny, and it's because uh, you can set them across the room, put a camera on them, and if, if something comes near to move them or throw them across the room, you'll see it on camera because it's the light up. That's the kind of thing you want to go back and look at. So wherever the ball was shot from, you put a ball there again to see if it'll happen again and have a camera on it. That's the thought process behind it. So, you guys, it is 9.33. And that basically brings us to the end of the show. Before we go today, I want to... Boy, you are way too excited. <clears throat> we, uh, our Christmas cards are in. So... They're going in the ticker is the link for our virtual sign up. So if you want to get your holiday card for this year, it's also in the low bar, wherever you are watching from, just go there and click the link and sign up. You can also participate in our Yule log that we do every year, as well as our Yule cat sock exchange. So please, I see you smiling, Stormy. <laughs> I halfway filled it out today and uh, <coughs> I didn't hit submit. I didn't finish it. Oh no! It's probably because you forgot your address again. Wait, is is Stormy is Stormy the Yule Cat? Yes. We're gonna get a picture of Stormy. We're gonna get a picture of Stormy in an ugly sweater, looking super grumpy, and that's our Yule Cat for next year. We're doing no. Is she no? Is she going to is she going to kill and eat? She's gonna kill and eat anyone who doesn't get socks. That well, actually, doesn't so get she might do. Clothing, so. I'm pretty picky about who I eat to, so I don't know. Don't worry, Stormy. If you kill them, I'll eat them for you. If we turn okay. them into humanoid jerky, though, you're willing to be, you're like, I'm in. It's cryptid, right? Yeah, we can sell it, make some money. <laughs> <laughs> we can help feed the world. 
<laughs> wow, Soylent Green. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Stormy, you act pretty silly <clears throat> sometimes, even if you don't see it. Hey, massive shout out to Dank. Thank you, Dank. You're awesome. They're our newest member of our channel. That's what we need. By the way, I think games. I think I think if it was made of like some of the people here, I think it would be soil like glitter. It's either be blue, black, and freaking rotten if it's made of us. <laughs> Uh, so I want to say, Dank, that does mean, though, that you are now absolutely automatically entered into every single drawing that we do here on the channel. That is one of your benefits and perks. So you now, can get see, two entries now. So how many drawings do we have as of a week, though? Let Dank know that. We we do an average, we do approximately eight a month. I do two drawings a week, one on Faye News and one on Author Reads on Fridays. Unless for some reason we don't have a show like if we are away, say at Canterbury Ren Fair or whatever, and th and therefore we don't have a show that day, then obviously there won't be a drawing. But short of that, then that is what we do. So and occasionally we may have a drawing during uh, handmade home shopping if they reappear randomly. Uh, actually, for we're doing a joint uh, author reads handmade home shopping for Black Friday. So on Black Friday, which is the twenty sixth Friday, the twenty sixth. We won't just be doing author reads. We will do, be doing author reads combined with handmade sh home shopping on that day. So for with all kinds of cool specials and sales and whatnot from our various vendors and authors. And so, so, what are we doing on Gutha Tuesday? Moment? What are we doing on Gutha Tuesday? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? It's the day after Black Friday. It's Gutha Tuesday. Day after Friday is Saturday. Yeah, the day after Black Friday. <laughs> This is kind of Tuesday, the, day, the, the Tuesday after Friday, Black Friday. Why? Why is that a thing? Since when? Well, it's when, you're, <laughs> it's when you're supposed to do all your Gunther shopping for the year. That's when I do all my Gunther. I actually count what was correct. I wait yeah. till the two, following Tuesday just to make sure everybody's out of the way. He's going to go to the make your own holiday. That's what we need to do. I think we really need to go. Go to, and go like, to the build a Gunther store? Register our re yes. No, register hold on. Official That's a holidays. brilliant idea. We should have a build your own Gunther store. Build a Gunther. Build a troll. Build, build a, a troll. troll. Yeah. I like it. Do we have any vendors that could do that? You 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 get to decide how much you stuff it and what you stuff it with. There, there is not enough stuffing that could accurately represent how full of it Gunther is. <laughs> <laughs> how many vibrators did they use in the it's oh. like you say that like you don't you've never heard you talk. I mean, you guys don't listen to me. What makes you think I listen to me? Lolly likes to be in here and get involved, but she will not listen to herself afterwards. She's just against it. I I feel that. I I, I feel that. <laughs> It's Why nice do you to know feel I that? have something you do in common TikTok. with that. You don't feel that. That's a lie. I don't watch them after I film. No, you're not. So, it's a rule. It's a rule of I'm doing so this. After, you never yeah, go no, back no, and watch your previous content. Yeah, no, Hold it's, on, it's something Lolly editing, and I have in common. After all the editing and listening to it over and over again, you're like, okay, now I'm done. Yeah, done. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand her not wanting to hear herself. <laughs> okay, I see the joke you've been trying to make. Yeah, I, finally, I get it. Yeah, safe okay. travels. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, okay, you guys. So, yeah, with that said, please go sign up to get your card if nothing else. And uh, with that said, then we will see so you. Long and thanks for all the fish. Friday, today's Wednesday. My bloom day is this weekend. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably, we're gonna have get a ball. You're gonna get older and closer to no, death. She's not gonna actually, her bloom days actually make her get younger. It's weird. I'm amazing. We have a rich, we have a virgin ritual sacrifice we have to make this Sunday. What? What? <laughs> Where are you gonna find one of those in Everett? All right, you guys. We got morbid. We, got we both have beautiful from... bean footage. Go to sleep. Go, Go to sleep. sleep. Go to... Hello, friends. This is Gone for Hammerhands. Thank you for checking out Fairy Princess Lolly's channel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Use your troll hammer to ring that little bell icon to get notifications when she posts future videos. And if you'd like to support these magical creations, fly over to our Patreon and join the fairy family.